Maverick, who is one of my favorite characters, so I'm really excited. I also just hit myself in the face with the book. We'll pretend that didn't happen. Am I gonna put it in the video? Yes. everybody it's your girl Jay and today I'm here with my May TBR for 2020 if you are new to this channel then you don't know this but my mom actually picks my TBR every month and has some weird little twist or theme on why she chose the books that she chose for the month so this month's theme is a little interesting to say the least I'm calling it things to do with springtime but I'll leave that up to you for interpretation so without further ado let us get started <laughs> So the first book that she chose was What Goes Around by Courtney Summers. It's actually two books in one, Cracked Up To Be and Some Girls Are, but she chose it based off of this title because the seasons go around every year. You see what she did there? You see? It kind of has to do with spring because spring is a season, so I'll give it to her. Also, summers is a season. I actually have never read a Courtney Summers book, so there's that, but a lot of people do really like her and I do know that she's coming out with another book soon, which sounds really good if you go to her Twitter and like watch the video that she put up of it. Sounds hecka good, so I'll definitely be checking that out too. But this is two books in one, which means that we are technically making our TBR shorter by two books if you really think about it, so I'm calling it a win. The next one that she chose is Leave Me by Gail Foreman because leaves. There are too many leaves in her backyard from fall. Why they're still there from fall? Because you know there was winter before spring. I don't know, but that was her justification. I don't really know that much about this book other than it's about a woman who like leaves her family behind because she doesn't want to be a mom anymore or a wife or something like that, but she basically abandons her family and like comes to terms with the secrets she's been hiding and blah blah blah. I have not read a Gail Foreman book other than the stay with me ones where the girl's in the coma and has to like decide whether she's gonna come back or not. So I've never read an adult Gail Foreman so I'm intrigued to see if I like it or not. The next one I mean. is Cleaner by Paul Cleave and this is because you have to clean up all the leaves in her yard. <laughs> That's from the past book. So I would have said spring cleaning, but no, it is fully to do with the leaves. She really doesn't like leaves. It's like a funny thriller according to the back. It's about a man who is working as a janitor, but on the side he's a serial killer and he's killed six people. And the news is saying that a seventh person has been murdered from the same serial killer, but he's like, yo, I didn't kill anybody, so what you talking about? So he decides that he's going to frame this other person who's pretending to be him because he's pissed off that he's pretending to be him because like, this is his thing, not the other person's. But he has an overprotective mom that he has to kind of like, you know, get around. And it's like the story of that. It apparently won an award. So there's that. I've never read this author before. I've never seen anybody read his work, so I can't tell you if anybody else likes it, but I'm actually kind of intrigued because I think the mom part of this book is going to be kind of funny. So Next one she chose is Roses and Rot by Kat Howard, and this is because you need to clean the rot out of your garden so that the roses can come. Again, with the cleaning of the leaves and the rot, she really doesn't like leaves. It's about these two sisters who like get away from their mom who's like abusive or something and they go to this elite post-grad arts program. They can't get away from their past or something. I do not know, but we're gonna read it. The next one that she picked was The Rosie Project by Graham Simpson, and she chose this because, again, roses, you know, rosy, roses, and your garden is a project that you must project on, <laughs> work on. That's the word I'm looking for. Wow, I've been in isolation for far too long. Um, this has been on my TBR for years since it's come out and I just keep putting it off. I don't know why, I just do. So this is the excuse to read it and we're gonna read it. I know that it's on audiobook as well, so that's good for me because I tend to go towards audiobooks now because I don't like holding books because my arms get tired anyways. So that's another one that's gonna be done. Next one she chose is Rain of the Fallen by Sarah Glenn Marsh. She chose this one because rain must fall in order for flowers to come up and that 
ties into the next book but we'll get to that. I honestly bought this one just because I follow the author on Twitter and she just seems like such a sweet person so I honestly don't really know what this is about. I know that it has to do with necromancers and something like they're called shades or yes shades. The necromancer has to like bring the dead things somewhere but if somebody sees them or something then they turn into shades which are like bad dead people. So, something like that. Somebody look it up on Goodreads, because honestly, I don't know. But apparently, there's a dramatic uptick in shade attacks, which raise suspicions and fears among Odessa's necromancer community. So I'm guessing Odessa gonna kick some dead people's butts, and that's what's happening in this book. I don't know. Long Live the Dead is on the back, so maybe dead people aren't a bad thing. I don't know. The next book that my mother chose is On the Come Up by Angie Thomas. She chose this because the flowers are on the come up during springtime. I have had this since it was released and it's cool because it's signed. One of my subscribers, Jonathan, sent it to me. He like met Angie, I guess, and got it signed to me, which is really cool. So thank you, Jonathan. But this is another one that has been on my TBR since it's released. This is also an audiobook, so check for me. I'm also really excited to read this because she's coming out with another book called Concrete Roses following Maverick, who is one of my favorite characters, so I'm really excited. I also just hit myself in the face with the book. We'll pretend that didn't happen. Am I going to put it in the video? Yes. But I'm really excited to listen to the audiobook because I feel like it's going to be really good for some reason. I just have that feeling, so I'm excited. And then the final book that she chose is released by Patrick Ness because Pollen is released during springtime. Do you see what I mean when she had to stretch this theme out? But here we are. I don't really know anything about this one either. Clearly I should have read the synopsises before I filmed this, but I do believe that it follows a boy who has an ex-boyfriend. He also has a new boyfriend, but he's still in love with the ex-boyfriend. I think he's thinking about suicide and it's like his final day before he does it, but that could also be very wrong. I could just be barking up the wrong tree at this point, but honestly just don't trust me and what I think books are about because it's usually wrong and then I come back in my wrap up and I'm like, you remember when I said it was about this? Yeah, no, it's not. So that's probably what this is gonna be. Again, don't trust me. All right, everybody, so that was my May TBR. I was gonna say wrap up, but we are not there yet. Let me know down below if you guys have read any of these. Let me know down below how wrong I am about the synopsises, and I will see you all in my next video. Goodbye.